Dio Soul Tenure, thank you all so much for tuning in. Again, I just really want to give gratitude to my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. It's super encouraging to keep seeing that number rising. Thank you so much. So, we're going to be doing things a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to be doing Chakra Stones, which I have done on the channel before. Um, so, let me just show you really quick. So, each stone correlates to a different chakra. Um, the different ones here, except I have Black Tourmaline, is going to correlate to the shadow or to the yin, to the female energy. My little puff light here is going to correlate to the yang, the heavenly, divine, uh, or masculine energy, right? Light and dark, all of that. My obsidian here is going to correlate to our allies and our ancestors. And then the rest are just your typical chakra stones, heart chakra, you know, uh, love, um, loving yourself, being open-hearted, following your true, you know, your true will, right? This is the uh, lapis, lapis lazuli, has to do with clear communication. Also having to do with psychic abilities, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to stick with communication of self. Carnelian is our sacredness of self, honoring ourselves. Are you grounded, present, and focused with Red Jasper? Tiger's Eye, this is confident, um, practical, down to earth. This is the solar plexus energies. Selenite is the crown chakra. Uh, oh, and then oh, this is an amethyst celestial. Love this little piece. Uh, this is going to be for the third eye, of course. And uh, that should about cover it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some, throw the stones. Give a quick little uh, little insight on the stones, uh, and then I'm going to throw runes on top of the stones and see how it connects together. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and give these a little shake. And the intention here is just to see what are the energetics for the next seven days for those who are and who will watch this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and see here. Alright, so just looking at this right away. Mmm. Well, this is good news. So, for those of you who are on this, this spiritual journey, right now, huh, yeah, right now, the, our groundedness, right, this is our groundedness. It's separated from the rest of this energetic pile, right? But the good thing is, is that our allies at this time and our ancestors are helping us to be confident in our communication so we may be more open-hearted, okay? Another way to look at this is due to the working with the light or the higher vibrational energies, our crown, our third eye, and our sacral chakra will be coming in alignment, all right, it's still not quite perfect yet. It's still not quite to that place where you want it to be. But due to the running of light and the connection with light, it's opening up the crown, which is then opening up the third eye chakra. Right. So this is some good energies coming in. This is definitely some blessings um, on those higher chakras. So again, guys, if you are working with higher energy, uh, running light, higher self, any kind of work that works for that higher vibration, even the gods and goddesses, working with that high dimensional energy, well, agent, opening up your crown in the third eye during this time, make sure you have the sacral chakra because the sacral chakra and the third eye are deeply, deeply connected. These two are deeply connected. If the sacral chakra is bad, the third eye is not going to be so great, right? It's just how it works. So, another thing to note is that there is some shadow in the sacral chakra that needs to be cleared regarding our love for ourselves, right? So, there's shadow in regards to our sacredness and love towards ourselves. So as we become more grounded, we're going to be able to clear the shadow in our sacral chakra to become more loving, confident in our allies who are aiding us in our clear communication. And at this time, the interaction with the higher dimensional beings is going to be opening up our crown and our third eye. Takeaway from this very simply is work on the getting grounded, present, and focused. Keep working with that high dimensional energy and become more confident in your allies and your communication. And everything else will fall into place. All right, so that's a little synopsis for just the chakra stones here. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw the runes. All right, so I have these runes. I just got these not long ago, actually. A, a friend of mine on my Discord server made them for me. Very generous. All right, so the intention is the same. All righty. Ooh, okay, very good. Okay, I believe it's pronounced Gibo. Ah, okay, okay, okay. And lastly... Alright, so, I am still learning more about the runes, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little research on these, and then I'm going to do my divination. 
Um, and then we're gonna just go from there. So, first I'm just gonna throw these runes to see where they land. Oh wow, okay, well that's interesting. All right, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this rune here is Kenaz. Basically the rough meaning of it, what I gathered is torch. Torch, it's quite a large definition by all means. So, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to this rune here but I'm also going to use a bit of my black mirror to kind of go into the energy of the rune. All right, so let me see here. All right, so instantly the, the vision of this rune and what it relates to um, is, I'm, again, I'm seeing this man, and he seems to be a wise man, right? Uh, shaman, um, you know, wizard, etc. Uh, witch, you know, someone who works with the energies of the nature. And... What he's doing is he's, it feels as though he's setting his intentions in the cycles of the moon, right? So the cycles of the moon have to do with, right, what you're letting go of, what you're bringing in, when's the time of power, when's the time of new change, new beginnings. So he's, he's bringing to light and he's incorporating the wisdom of the cycles in regards to where he's going next, right? I just got a little bit of chills there. So overall, this is, since it landed right next to the Red Jasper Stone. This all has to do with bringing light to our root chakra. Where are we grounded? Where are we, you know, focused? Where is our um, enlightenment in that area? Is our root chakra cl closed off? Is it dim? Or is it bright and just burning and, and vibrating very well? Okay. So at this time, this has to do with, again, clearing that chakra, if it applies to you. But another thing I'm getting from this is setting your intentions and getting very clear on what you want to start to bring, okay? What you want to start to manifest or bring knowledge to or accrue knowledge of if you are a student, okay? Next up is is, is uh, Gibo or Gifts, right? So I'm going to go into this one a little bit more here. Okay, so immediately the, excuse me, the energetics of this rune this has to do with trusting, trusting your higher power, your higher self, your guides, your allies, your ancestors, whoever that, whoever that spiritual support is, trusting them to aid you in delivering on what your goals are, right? It's a little bit more here. Trust, trusting that you are supported in opening new doors for yourself, new doors of opportunity and of experience, right? And this is, again, ne right next to the sacral chakra and our yin or our shadow side. Oops, oops. Um, <laughs> Alright, so anyway, so this has to do with, again, the sacral chakra has a lot to do with honoring yourself, right? But it also has to do with that it's near the energetics of letting go, of letting go. It's in the emotions, right? The sacral chakra has to do with the water element, okay? So this is a letting go, letting that flow will bring this gift to you, right? This gift of new doors and new opportunities. Okay, and this gift of new doors and opportunities is also in alignment with your third eye, your light, and your crown, right? So overall, getting clear on your goals, what you want to study, what you want to learn, what you want to grow to, will bring you the gift and support of opening new doors and positive spiritual experiences and experiences overall as well. You know, it doesn't just apply to, to that in a spiritual manner. It's also physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually and soulfully, Okay. And so all the way, separated from all the crystals here, is we have Sowilo, which is sun or success. Okay, so the how I look at this is, this is, on the left side here, right, we have the first room. Right, this has to do with what are you studying? Where are you grounded? What are you grounded in? What is your foundation in? Right, what is your foundation of knowledge in? Right, where is your knowledge grounded? Where is that wisdom grounded? Right, that's where you, what you need to do first. Okay, in the center where we are now is we are in this place of receiving gifts. This is gifts of doors opening. Doors are opening for us. Um, getting so many chills right now. Um, doors are opening to us, especially in regards to higher consciousness. Right, and as we stay aligned with our heart, or as long as we're staying confident and our loving and truthful communication, we have the success that is coming. Okay, we have the success that is coming. So overall, this is what are you grounded in, 
regards to your knowledge. What are you studying? Where are you grounded in, in your passions? Get grounded in your passions, okay? Or also work on the root chakra, right? Next step is we have this gift of spirit, new spiritual experiences coming up. This is exciting. We are in the year of 2020, which is clear vision. Okay, so things are just going to be right out in the open. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm excited for it, honestly. I'm excited for that. So, there are new spiritual experiences coming, coming to us, and the gift is coming from the divine, from the higher dimensions, higher vibrations. That is where this gift is going to come. Right, you have to come out of the darkness, out of the shadow, heal the shadow to transition into the light, which is underneath, right? Okay, so again, working on that energetic path is going to lead you to being confident in your communication and in your love of yourself and others. And this flow of energy is going to bring you to success. Okay, let's see if there's anything specific about this room here. Again, this is again this is very straightforward. This is just success in its essence. Um, the vision, of the game was just a celebration, a celebration. Again, guys, real quick, get f grounded, okay? Get grounded, get, get grounded, and what are you centered in in regards to the knowledge you're trying to build, okay? There are gifts coming due to the work through the shadow, work through the feminine or the female energies, and through this work on your sacral chakra. Or your sacredness and honoring yourself and trusting is where your gifts are going to be coming in more and strongly. Higher consciousness is coming in, right? Just remember that your allies are assisting you in your communication and being confident in your open heart itself, right? And again, the tiger's eye crystal here is aligned with the Sawilo room, okay? So just so you guys can see, you know, firsthand how this all flows. Right, where are we grounded? The gifts coming in due to the work. Our allies supporting our communication, our confidence, and our open heartedness. And make sure you have confidence in the gifts that are coming, right? Because it's the gifts that are coming are in regards to your vision, right? Have confidence in your vision because these gifts are in the future. Your success is in the future. Well, I had a lot of fun doing that little insight. I hope this all resonated with you guys. Please let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to hear all the feedback that you have. If you'd like to schedule insight, invocation of paths, or life force transference with me, I do remote and in person. My, all my contact information is down below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I appreciate you so much. Have a blessed, blessed week.